Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Frank Horn, and welcome back to Hearts Round 4 as we are playing as Germany. So, in today's episode, we're going to be continuing the invasion of the Soviet Union and Spain. But before we do, I want to address a couple things from the comments. I've seen a lot of people over the last two videos concerned that we haven't been doing certain things for a while. You know, it's been several videos since we, uh, you know, built any more units, or uh, several videos since we, you know, looked at some Intel stuff. And here's the thing, over the last two videos, remember, only like a little over three weeks has gone by. So that's the reason why we haven't really been doing a lot of stuff, like looking at our production or looking at the, uh, uh, the units, because nothing's really happened. Uh, it's only been three weeks. We've just made a lot of progress in those three weeks with uh, capitulating France, uh, taking over Northern Italy, uh, and then, of course, the invasion of Spain, which is pretty close to being done, and we've made a lot of progress with the invasion of the Soviets as well. So we've we've done so much over the three weeks that it feels like it's been longer than it actually has, but it's not been that long, and so that's the reason why we haven't been, been doing any of that stuff. Uh, so with the intel, because this got brought up quite a few times, with the cryptology, everybody's wondering why I haven't uh, used any of our, our bonuses we could get. Well, there's two things. First of all, we don't have any bonuses guys uh you, we never finished these i think that's another product of it only having been three weeks over the last two episodes people think that the, the soviet union one's done it's not uh so we don't have any of these done so we can't even use them but on top of that even if we did have them you don't always need to use them remember it gives you a passive bonus here you go here's the passive bonus so that's the passive bonus and a lot of times this can be better than just getting the 30-day bonus it really depends on what you're doing uh because this really helps with invasions but outside of invasions, you're only really getting the breakthrough for those 30 days. That's the only thing that I think is worth it, is the breakthrough in defense, that plus 15%. That's pretty helpful. Uh, but other than that, I feel like the, the passive bonus is, is pretty good to keep. Particularly that air detection and then the, the extra uh, intel bonuses. 10% is very nice. So, yeah, that's that's the thing with this, guys. We don't, have, uh, we don't have any of these done. And even if we did, some of them we might not want to use because the passive bonus is so nice. But the one thing that I haven't done uh, is when we finished up the, the British mission, that last one, we never did anything after that. So that's one that we do need to take care of. We got some agents just sitting at home not doing anything. And so then there's the question of what to do against the British. And there's really not a whole lot, guys. Uh, you know, we can try and capture Cypher to get this done quicker. But I think it's, yeah, it's going to be done in 87 days. Uh, so it would be done before the mission was actually uh, finished up. We could do the resistance context. I know a lot of people suggested that. But you know what? I only find that to be useful when a country has like a lot of occupied territory. You know, they conquered a lot of stuff uh, because it only applies in non-core territory. Now, the British start the game with a lot of non-core territory, uh, but most of that is in areas that doesn't have high development, so it doesn't have very high resistance in the first place, and then it also already has compliance in those areas. And so, the make resistance context for the the British, you know, empire is just not very useful. Uh, so, you really, really want to use it against countries that have a lot of occupied territory. Same thing with the Soviet Union. While they have, I think they might have a little bit of non-core territory. I think most of this is core territory, though. Yeah, it's just not going to have any effect. Uh, so we don't want to do that one. Uh, the still in naval blueprints, I don't think they have anything that we don't have. Uh, still in industrial blueprints means we might lose that. Uh, the infiltration bonus, which I want to keep right now. And they probably don't have anything we don't have for that either. So I think with the, the British, the only thing really to do is that they're a plant false intelligence, which I don't know how useful that actually is, or to infiltrate the Army or the Air Force. So I guess that's what we're going to do. We're going to infiltrate the, the Air Force. It only takes two operatives, and we actually have two operatives just sitting around. This is the other guy here. All right, so let's go ahead and get that commencing ready. But yeah, I really find, like, the, you know, all the, the stuff from Law of Resistance, the intelligence system, I don't know. Like, it's cool, uh, but how useful it is, I don't know. It's, it's a lot of the missions aren't all that good, honestly. They're okay. It's not that they're bad or anything. Some of them can be very helpful, actually. But yeah, overall, it just feels like it, it's more of a. And I think they did this intentionally. It's just more kind of an extra thing to do. And again, I do think they did that intentionally so that you wouldn't have to mess with it too much. I think that's the idea. Let's go ahead and go through here. I guess we'll go this way, grab the airbase, and then Tula. Let's see how this goes and who we might want this unit to, to assist. We're going to have him go up here and then attack right there. Uh, yes, that's the other thing I wanted to do uh, with the intel, guys. I forgot all about this. So we're at 85% for civilian intel, so we don't have the combo route tooltip details, but we do have 
their convoy routes. So we see where their convoys are going through, and you can see why we're not sinking any, because they have set their convoys to avoid, avoid all of the sea region that we might be operating in. So we need to go around, and I think we're going to. Now, I don't want to go in this sea zone, because I think we'll get hit kind of heavy. I know they don't have a lot of ships here, uh, but I'm more worried, worried about the, uh, the British bombers. Uh, so instead, let's send the submarines to go around here and try and hit those convoys that are going through the Norwegian Sea here and the uh, Denmark Strait. And we'll see how successful that ends up being, see if we can't catch any of those those convoys, try and cut the British off from oil, I think that would be helpful. Uh, let's go and take a look, see what our units here are doing. Looks like nothing. Uh, we won there. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward. Let's so grab all this mountain territory while we can, get over to this. And then with these guys, again, just thickening this up here make it harder for them to reconnect this. Uh, one thing I did forget last episode is that Portugal is in the war against us, so the Spanish divisions, I'm always thinking that they're they're cut off here from this side of the country, but they're not. They can just go through Portugal. So we still gotta get that tank here. We need to invade Portugal, and we should do it while it's undefended. Uh, so we're gonna wanna start doing that soon. And just make sure all these units are pushing forward here. A lot of them are still moving over to the front. That's gonna take time. Alright, and again, just making sure all of our units here are fighting. Now, one thing... These guys should not be leaving. Uh, one thing that was asked about is, is are all of our allies at war with Soviet Union? Maybe that's why they're not invading us, because they're not at war with them. Everybody is but Bulgaria, guys. So if we just looked at Soviet Union, they are at war with Serbia on this front. They are at war with the Hungarians, and they are at war with the Czechs. It's just Bulgaria they're not at war with, which is why this territory is undefended here. And uh, they're just not doing anything. And so there's really no reason for it. And this guy could let's see what we're doing here. All right, so he's going on on that front. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy come over here and start pushing the front forward, helping us out. With somebody else taking care of all this, he should already be doing it. Yep. Excellent. Got this wrapped up too. And when's this guy leave here? Essentially, what we're going to want to do. All right, and now Belgium just accepted that request. I don't remember which province we took from them, probably this one or something like that. We'll have to see if they're willing to give any more. Uh, they are, so let's go ahead and ask them. Although this is all messed up. Alright, now let's do it. Uh, let's go ahead and ask them for some territory. We'll start taking this territory down here, though they might not give us anything. Nope, it's green like they'll give us something, but they're not going to. Alright, we'll just have to wait then. And hopefully we should be able to get all that territory from them. I can't say for sure. All right, let's go ahead and thicken this up. I'll grab that province, and then these guys are going after that province. Excellent. I'll keep going after territory then. And then with the tank unit, I think he's already going to, towards uh, Stalingrad. So you know what? Let's have somebody help wrap all this up then. We'll have this guy go here and get that, and then the tank guy can go get all of this. All right, excellent. All right, so everybody should just be moving, getting onto these fronts here. Have him grab that real quick. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. We're getting the Soviet Union wrapped up ever so slowly. Uh, these guys got cut off, unfortunately, and yeah, that's not good. And there's nobody who can even reconnect them either. Uh, this guy could come over here eventually. Let's see if we can't beat this this unit here. No, three hours. So we're just gonna let him finish moving then. And let's go ahead and, and start attacking some of these units here. He's already going here, so he'll be able to defend. Uh, let's attack with both of these guys. Try and get those guys destroyed. And let's not do whatever these guys are doing. Alright, so you notice we have a no template thing here? That's because I'm making armored cars. Uh, we're going to add those to our, uh, our garrison division soon. Alright, so the Portuguese are on the front here. And that's because, of course, we have the border with Portugal, which I wasn't quite ready to do yet. Instead, let's let's go this way, guys. Let's do this a little bit differently. Actually, we want to stay off the border with Portugal with the hope that they'll, like, not see us as a threat anymore. I was also trying to avoid attacking that enemy units here in the mountains with that tank unit. That did not work out. Instead, we're about to get cut off. Okay, so let's go this way instead and get this thick up. Make sure we don't get cut off from supply. Uh, we did get the Battlefield Concentration. It's the first tank we've gotten in a while, which is nice. Uh, let's continue researching the Naval Doctrines, and we're going to go after the subsidiary carrier role. I know we don't have a lot of carriers, but 
be nice to get a bonus for the ones or the one that we do. I think we're gonna have another one built soon though. Uh, maybe we already built. Yeah, we already built the second one. Okay, so this one will be built until 43. Uh, but yeah, we got to do all character to get assigned. Let's go ahead and put it into. I think we're gonna put it into submarines. I'm quite happy with our the number of submarines that we currently have. And it looks like we have been successful in engaging one cowboy up there, as well as two over here. We sunk three cowboys total. So we have seen some success over there. All right, let's go and see what our units are doing over here. Sure, they're not doing what we want them to do. All right, let's have these guys go this way. And yeah, just really start focusing on getting the front push forward now. Uh, this guy should go up here. Just kind of filling in some of this territory. Uh, you can see that they're now starting to defend their front. There's a lot more units around here. Uh, and these guys are probably going to try and break free. Now we have Moscow. I know we're attacking across a river here, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, and then with this guy, let's attack right there. Let's really start filling this in here. As they're about to reconnect it. Now I don't know where the hell this guy's going. <laughs> Nowhere where we want him to, though. So I'm going after that airbase. We will ask why did Finland get Leningrad? I have no idea. Now they could have had a a claim on on this state, and that would give it to them. Uh, or if they have a core, but they don't. They have a claim. They could have a claim though, but they're neutral. So with them being neutral and not being in the war of the Soviet Union, they shouldn't have gotten anything. I'm not entirely sure why they did. Couldn't tell you. Just kind of a weird thing that happened. All right, so not going to win there. Too many units. Let's move over here instead. And then this guy should come over this way. Just slowly getting that area wrapped up. And I think this guy's set to take all this, but we have more divisions assigned, so let's stop that. Uh, these guys can just go somewhere. Uh, but they were not the ones assigned. Okay, so that guy's already moving. Let's make sure he's coming over here. Yeah, under this front here. Still one more unit that's assigned that doesn't need to be. Okay, just that guy. We'll let him finish moving, and then we'll make sure that he... Uh, stays on this front line and starts pushing forward here all right, so he's going over that way so let's have this one this one unit here wrap all this territory up and then we can just have these two units take care of this so that gets rid of that front there these tanks are continuing making success to to get all this here wrapped up and then what we'll want to do is like thicken it up some because they can't easily get their units down there i'm hoping that there's just no units down there at all that would be optimum. Alright, so still trying to get this area here wrapped up. I don't know if we'll be able to do it or not. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's go back over to Spain, see how things are going down here. Alright, so these guys are trying to break out. Can't have none of that. Uh, let's go and attack this tank unit. Alright, excellent. Let's try and get some of this taken, taken over here. Go and wipe out that unit as well. And let's make sure this guy stays over here. And then what we'll do is wipe that guy out as well. All right, so nobody's over here. Let's get this territory taken. They still haven't gone after Madrid again, which is interesting. I'm not really sure why they've uh, avoided taking their capital here. And this guy is having some supply issues. I'll we'll have to get down here and see if we can't connect uh, somewhere down there. Got another British convoy sunk. Excellent. Uh, as far as the Red Army, I think they're about halfway done. Yeah, a little over halfway done. Uh, for getting their, their planning done. So they can uh, do something there. Let's go and attack here and here. Let's go and push along the coast here. Alright, we're going to attack right there. At least go right here. Stop this guy from taking that from us. Let's go and attack oops, over here. Alright, and let's go and get the tanks wrapping all this up here. Yeah, looking pretty good. This guy's getting this wrapped up. One division finishing that up, and these guys should be able to uh, help with those two divisions. Let's go across here and see if we can't connect there at Toledo. And then go across here. We'll try with that unit as well. Just try and connect them there, if we can. Alright, then go up here and get Grenada. Now we're doing good in Spain. Let's go and dip back on over to the Soviet front. Alright, so these units are pushing forward here. Let's go and attack here. It's kind of like use all of our units to get it done since they're having trouble doing it alone a lot of divisions assigned here that's not well that's not good let's have them go over uh, to this front probably oh okay they might not have a front over here yeah it might all be this front and that's the reason why 
yeah, that's what's going on here. All right, well, let's go ahead and create a new front because clearly this one got uh, destroyed here. And get them all assigned over there. And you know what? I feel like we really need to change the color of this unit, guys, because I can't tell what the hell is going on here with the two different blue units. We can always change them back. Uh, but for right now, we'll, we'll make them a yellow unit, just so I can see what the hell is going on with these fronts. Should have done that a while ago, because it's been confusing me for some time now. Uh, let's have these guys go here. And this guy's going to go up this way. Yeah, and I know we already have a unit assigned to do that, so we'll just have this guy take all this territory here. I just really need to start filling some of this in now. Alright, so he's going after Stalingrad. We're going to keep him moving along here. On the other side of this river and going after that victory point. That's worth some points. We'll have one of these other tanks come over here and finish this up here. Alright, so this guy's still taking care of all that for us. All right, excellent. Alright, so the Soviet front looks... Well, we didn't go up here and make sure all the units are moving. I was going to just dip through here and make sure everybody's moving. Try and get over there. Make them find us. And somebody needs to wrap that up real quick, so we'll have that guy take care of it. Alright, looking good. A lot of these guys are currently defending, so let's go and attack right there. Help him out. Alright, and let's have this unit go through here. He'll take that and he'll get that. Slowly get that taken care of. Alright, so remember this is our kind of more our more important front. Alright, so he's going over that way already, so let's get these provinces then. You can see that they're filling this in here. Probably not a bad thing, since it uh, gets us off of the Portuguese border. Alright, let's go here, and then we'll attack him to destroy that one Soviet Union. One Soviet unit, excuse me. Uh, somebody's already taking care of this. Okay, excellent. So what we're going to want to do is make sure all these guys are going over here. Ah, oh, damn it. Shouldn't have stopped his, his movement there. Um, let's get all the units that are here. Put them over here. We'll just have like one unit take care of that force. Oh, wait a minute. My bad. Did that wrong. Alright, so we need to get to Toledo. Looks like the Americans are going after that province. And this unit here should hopefully be able to get that unit there surrounded. We'll see. Uh, we do have some military factories. Let's put one into the armored cars so we can get those produced. And uh, we'll start putting them into the uh, the cab unit soon. Let's see where we want to put the rest of these factories. Kind of just dip through here and see what we're short on. I mean, we're short on so many things. Uh, there's a lot of uh, resources that we currently need. Currently need. Let's go up with the anti tanks. Try and fix some of those shortages. We already have a lot going in mechanized, uh, and that requires rubber as well. Yeah, rubber is really the issue here, guys. It's kind of been a continual problem for us. All right, let's go ahead and go over to this province now. Uh, we did win there, excellent. We'll use both units to attack another province after they finish their movement. Stalingrad has been snatched, excellent. All right, so that's looking good. Uh, and then these guys here can actually come over here and start working on taking some of this territory down here. Yeah, so they'll take care of all that for us. And yeah, he's coming over here as well. All right, beautiful. Let's make sure everybody's moving along here. You know what? This guy can come over to this territory. Get him pushing forward over to that province. And then he can go this way instead, since that tank unit will be done by the time he gets there. Let's have both these units attack over here uh, while this guy goes over here. And yes, he's currently on the move. Let's instead... Okay, he's taking all this over. All right, let's have this guy push forward then. But probably not areas that we already have units pushing forward. Let's go this way instead. And uh, the Soviet Union front is, again, more of an afterthought right now. I'm kind of wanting to to get this Spanish front done, uh, dealt with here. We're slowly making progress. we got a lot of units cut off. Yeah, right here is more units, so we can go ahead and start attacking. Just try and get this done. Yeah, it looks good. If there's any units that we have that are, you know, capable of attacking. Alright, beautiful. Let's go ahead and have this guy push forward up here. I know we got a unit that's cut off right now. It's four units, though. Let's attack right here just because that's a nice, easy win. 
All right, so this guy, he did unfortunately get out of there. All right, that's not how I wanted that to go down, but whatever. All right, so we're gonna continue grabbing multiple provinces at a time here with that tank unit. We are making good progress here, though. Yeah, so this is not too bad. And then have one of these guys go and get all this tank here. All right, we have achieved some victories here. Uh, that unit's about to get out of there. Let's just see where he's at. One day and 18 hours. All right, let's instead have this guy stay here and then he'll attack over here. That should make it so that he doesn't get out of there. Gotta finish up that defense first though. Um, let's have this unit here attack that unit. And let's get this guy signed to the front and come and take care of some of this for us. Now overall, it's going pretty well, but the Spanish still have quite a few units left. Uh, let's go and dip back over to the Soviet front, and looks like Bulgaria just joined the war. No, they didn't. They're still getting territory, though, as strange as that is. All right, I'm not entirely sure why that, that is, but they are. They're getting territory. All right, so we'll attack right there, see how that ends up going. Slowly getting all this taken care of. Uh, let's have this unit go here, and I'll just get one unit grabbing that real quick. Again, just trying to wrap all this territory up. All right, let's have this guy go grab these uh, points up along here. All right, and so this tank unit has arrived here. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and, again, just work on uh, thickening this front up here. Just so they can't, you know, easily reconnect this territory here and get behind us. Definitely don't want that. And then, yeah, this guy will continue doing the same thing. Remember, every province we take has an effect. It's not just uh, victory point provinces. Victory point provinces are worth more, of course. But every province you take does help towards getting that country capitulated. It's all helpful. Alright, so we're gonna go and attack with those two units there. Let's have this guy come up over here now, since Tula has already been grabbed. Uh, let's go ahead and have this unit attack right here. And that is obviously not gonna be effective. I don't think there was a unit there originally. I think that's what happened. All right, so he's going over this way. All right. Yeah, this is looking good. Uh, let's go and dip back on over to Spain, see if we can't get these guys uh, finished up. I'd really like to get them finished up this episode. All right, so he's going over that late. Let's have him go here then and attack Toledo then. We're going to grab that undefended province. All right, so these guys are making progress, and this guy's just about done. He's going to go after Gibraltar next, and then the new capital of Sevilla. That should result in their capitulation, I think. Yeah, more than likely. Uh, he might need to get Toledo, too. We'll see. All right, let's go ahead and have him go this way, and then he's going to attack Leon. Oh, he's going to go all the way over there. Still have to get these units here destroyed, so let's go ahead and start that promise. We'll get them attacked. Also need to get these units here wrapped up. We do have this unit attacking that province, though. And we might need to give them another unit to attack here. And he's trying to get it reconnected. Let's go and attack him, at least stop him from that. But yeah, making good progress on this Spanish border. Yeah, this is looking good. I don't know how close they are to capitulation. We'll take a peek real quick. Should be pretty, pretty soon. 95%, guys. 95%. So we're getting there. Uh, loss of plane there. Did have another big battle. We didn't get to watch it this time, and the effects weren't, you know, quite as uh, significant. Uh, but we did sink some big ships, guys. We got one light cruiser sunk, two battleships, both old ones, a old battle cruiser, an old heavy cruiser, and four destroyers. I'm still convinced that the AI is not building new ships, uh, new capital ships anyway, because you never see them. Now I know that a lot of the, the British Navy is old at the start of the game. They got a ton of old capital ships, but yeah, you just don't ever see the, where are all the new ones? We built new ones by now. I know that we haven't built a ton, maybe like four uh, new capital ships. So maybe we just haven't seen the British capital ships, the new ones. But it seems like I never see them uh, in any campaign, which is strange. Let's go and attack here. Again, just trying to get that area all wrapped up. This is almost done. This is almost done. Yeah, this is all looking good. Uh, let's go and start attacking over here. And this guy right here will wrap that up. And let's go and shoot on over to that victory point there. Still a lot of work left, guys, to get the Soviet Union capitulated. 
They're not even, uh, I mean, they're close, but... Yeah, there's still a lot to be done. Uh, these guys here could be attacked with more... You know, it looks like they actually are good on that front. Let's go and push forward. Actually, remember, we don't want to go hit the uh, Portuguese front just yet. It'd be best if they don't look at us as a threat. And let's make sure this guy's go grab uh, grab those provinces while he gets that one. And then we're going to try and get across here, get to Cordoba. Yeah, very, very close. The Gibraltar's back in our hands. Again, I expect they should capitulate very soon. Uh, remember, no border provinces with Portugal right now. Not until Spain capitulates and all these units are destroyed. That'd be for the best. Uh, Toledo having some difficulty there. Have two units attacking. Clearly, that's not enough. So an attack with these guys. That should be enough. Looks like it. All right, let's go and push forward here. We did win there, surprisingly. They're just so weak. There is a Portuguese division here as well. So getting him uh, cut off and destroyed would be helpful. One less division will have to fight there. Uh, these guys were successful as well, so let's go and attack over that way. Yeah, we're going to attack them both there and see if we can't get a victory. And just looking again for units not doing anything. This guy can be pushing forward here while well, he pushes up towards that victory point. Let's go and cut off. Oops. Let's see, we're gonna have this guy go here. All this guy here is gonna go across the river right there. And he's going that way, so let's have this unit here go attack him if he's still there. This is the unit we want to have cut off that guy there. Alright, let's get these tanks moving forward as well. Alright, looking good. We also have some military factories we need to get assigned. All right, so we're going to have him attack there next, and these guys will attack here. I don't know if they'll win or not. We'll see. I guess we'll start moving towards that victory point there. Getting this air base here, that'll be helpful. Uh, let's go down. Yeah, we'll go to the... Oops. My bad. We'll go down this way. All right, excellent. He doesn't have any assistance up there. He's like all on, on, all on his lonesome. They are retaking territory here now, guys, so let's... Try and get them reconnected. Remember, this guy is already making an effort to try and thicken it up here. I really feel like maybe this unit should go a different route. He's already, you know, moving towards that province. So let's move up this way with the intent to try and connect these two fronts. And then this tank unit, he can try and do the same. Just get somebody taking some of this territory here. And uh, since he's doing that, let's have this guy fill all this in while he goes across here. All right, excellent. Yeah, it looks good. And one unit should be taking care of that, which will free up those divisions to go elsewhere. And yeah, these guys are all moving. Okay, beautiful. So yeah, again, really when we play, we want to be looking at this front, because again, it's just the, the more important front right now. There we go. Spain has capitulated. All right, excellent. So that is super helpful. Now what we're going to do is start prioritizing the... Uh, Portuguese front. Now there are a, a few like Soviet and Portuguese divisions that are cut off here in Spain. So we're going to want to get those wiped out. No units to do it over here unfortunately so those might actually get back. We'll have to see if we can't eliminate them. Let's have this guy push forward here. And then what we'll want to do is tank the uh, not those units. So these units here. Uh, get them coming over to this front next to push forward. Let me just see if there's any units that could go that way right now. Probably just those three. Because yeah, this guy's taking care of this. That guy's going to help us out there. Uh, is there... There we go. This guy here. I don't think we put onto that front yet. We'll even give him a little bit of planning bonus. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so yeah, getting all these uh, two units wrapped up here, and then all of our units should be moving to the front line. Let's go and get the uh, military factories that we just got from Spain. Get those assigned somewhere. Let's add the armored cars now. Now I know this is going to require, you know, is going to create a need here for them, but I think it'll be okay. 
so yeah, they're gonna have a bit of a shortage here. And uh, the United States is only 89% now towards, uh, you know, assuming control of the faction. That used to be 92%. So we've done much better in that regard. Probably because of our more factories from all the territory we've taken. That's what I'm assuming is going on there. Let's give more of the armored cars. I like that those don't take rubber either, so that's pretty helpful. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to get stuff that requires rubber. Because we're, we're just so short. So yeah, I think we're going to have to get like, you know, motorized car, you know, the motorized trucks and stuff. Just not going to avoid it. Now uh, this guy could go here. Just, again, just making sure all the units are moving. Somewhere. Helping us get in the, uh, the Soviets knocked out of the conflict. Alright, so he's going over that way, so he'll just take that one province for now. We just need to get more units onto the front line. Because frankly, we do not have anywhere near enough units over there. Uh, we can take a look, see if the Belgians will give us any more territory. No, still not willing to. Alright, it's a shame. Uh, in regards to occupation, you know, we conquered... Oh, we lost two destroyers there. Uh, we, we conquered all France, mostly from Belgian territory, and that's the reason why they got to occupy it. Uh, so who gets to occupy it is based off of what territory you go from. I think I said that in a uh, earlier episode. However, that does not give occupation points to that country. Occupation is based on which unit takes the province. So we didn't give a bunch of points to Belgium just because we conquered from their territory. Uh, we still got the occupation points. They just got to actually occupy it. It's a little bit confusing. Right, I know it's so every looking. series. Uh, some people get confused with that. we got two more days left, guys, and then we can uh, do that invasion. Uh, let's try and get this guy wrapped up. I don't know how well he's going to do because that unit is uh, not as weak as I would like. You know, let's go over here for... Uh, screw it. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We just need to get this territory taken. Alright, so he's going over that way. That'll work out fine. Let's have this guy sh shoot towards Lisbon. Somebody needs to get that done, get the capital taken before more uh, Portuguese troops get into the country. All right, so we're attacking here, looking good. That guy's currently defending, so he can't really assist. And this tank unit is ready to attack up this way. All right, looking good. Just again, making sure all of our units are moving. That they all got orders. All right, so everybody, we already have plenty of units going through here, so that tank doesn't need to do that. That unit's taking forever to take that that province there. Let's have this guy go up here, and this guy can go over here. So yeah, a lot of units are currently transitioning to other fronts. All right, so that looks good. Should be able to get all these units here cut off. All right, step back on over to the Portuguese front. Make sure that we are uh, currently advancing in this territory. All right, so he's going over that way. Let's have this guy go down here. And he's going to help out get that Soviet division destroyed so they can get onto the front. All right, so let's go ahead and have these tanks push forward here. All these guys push down this way towards Lisbon. He'll probably get there first, I assume, because he's the closest. Again, these light tanks are just ridiculously fast. And that's why I use light tanks, guys. Every time we uh, have a series where we use these light tanks, I think it's a, a great example of just how powerful they can be. Uh, just their speed. Speed is kind of king in, in Hoi 4. It's very important. It's very powerful as well, especially when you get like the speed modifiers. Even Paradox has recognized that, which is why they have uh, nerfed speed modifiers a little bit, and they're supposed to be nerfing them even further. This uh, cruiser's not set to go into the port we want them, so we'll go ahead and fix that. So we got four dockyards. Okay, I'm not sure if we just took more territory, if we got something built. Let me just double check. No, it doesn't look like we built anything. All right, so let's put them into the submarines and... I guess destroyers. I think we're gonna need uh, another line of light cruisers. Oh, okay, this is what happened. Uh, we finished up the the battleship. Okay, I didn't know that. So with that in mind, let's go and get another one built. Uh, I don't know if we need to make any adjustments. Maybe. I think we might have gotten better anti-air. So yeah, we can make some adjustments then. We'll want to change out all the anti-air, get that improved. 
and better radar as well that's available and I think that's it yeah that's it uh, but yeah increasing their their abilities a bit uh, so let's go ahead and save this uh, speed is is fine so let's go ahead and save that and then get the uh, new Bismarck's constructing we we'll have to pull the uh, the dockyards I just put into other stuff to go into this, and we might want to pull one more from. Ah, we'll pull it from the, the destroyers. All right, excellent. So with that ship, let's make sure it's getting out to the fleet. We won't train it or anything. So we'll place it out there. I know that we have a lot of capital ships in this fleet right now, guys. That's okay. That's okay. All right, so submarines still having success up here, engaging a variety of countries' convoys. I don't know if these are troop convoys or supply convoys. I assume the British ones are supply convoys, bring up resources and such. All right, so yeah, just making sure all these units are getting this territory taken here. And these tanks are just rapidly taking over. So I think he can get to Lisbon first. Yeah, these tanks are having a very good success here. Move in quite quickly. Alright, he'll go up along this way. Portugal should be capitulated soon. I don't think there's going to be much fight here. Uh, we did get that synthetic rubber. That's going to be helpful. That gives us two more rubber in every synthetic refinery, so that probably solves our shortages for now. We'll have to see. We'll probably still have to keep trading with whoever we're trading, but maybe we can even stop the trading. I'm not entirely sure. All right, so don't really need that one there. The research bonus there would be helpful. See uh, what other options are. We can always get stuff for the dockyards and the ship research bonuses. Okay, uh, so that's currently what we have here then. All right, I'm not too worried about the forts either. I guess we'll do the the uh, one over here first. Uh, ten convoys sunk there. Ten Soviet convoys. Excellent. Alright, so again, let's just make sure all of our units are are working here. I think this guy's currently assigned to the, that front down there, so let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, this guy's continue having success here. And this tank unit, we never did reconnect here, so that's kind of a problem. Still need to get that done, so instead of going this way like I was, let's try and go up here. Yeah, just waiting for a lot of units to get onto the front. And a whole lot of units just kind of sitting around not doing anything. We'll have this guy move up here, and he's gonna go through here. Not this unit here will be cut off. Let's get this guy attacking over here, and he's gonna go over to that front. As is this guy. I'm sure, he doesn't go anywhere, and we might have too many units. Yeah, like you have units. It's just so ridiculous. The units that are over here will move to this front, and then the units over here will move over to this front. That's uh, silly. Uh, let's help get this done, but not this way. We don't want to attack from their territory. Uh, we're just going to try and attack from our own territory here. <sighs> There's really no way to... It might not let me do it. Unless I do it like this. Yeah, that's going to be the only way to do it. Alright, that's what it is. Uh, these guys continue attacking from here, though. They want to get those units there destroyed. What we'll do is have one go over here while the other one goes over here. Alright, and then these guys are coming over this way. Yeah, just make sure that these units continue their current orders here. Alright, that looks really good. Down here, we're going to get all that fuel. So, could prioritize taking that a little bit quicker, I suppose. And, let's see, we got that tank going this way, so he can go that way. And, let's just give these guys, like, additional orders here. And I'm going to see if I can't get this guy to just start moving up that way. So we'll have more units here. A lot of units cut off right there. Five current divisions. That's excellent. And we have factories and dockyards. So let's go ahead and get these aside. So it's just one dockyard. Let's put it into those submarines. And then the military factories is it's also just one military factory. Uh, the rubber. The rubber situation. Uh, so, yeah, we can actually stop trading where we're getting ripped off. I'll keep the trade going where we're getting a full factory worth. 
because I actually want to assign those. So let's do that first. Now that we actually have some rubber to assign, we can go and uh, put factories into stuff that we were kind of worried about the rubber with. Uh, probably the mechanized, I think that's what we're currently short us on. Armor cars, you got a high need for that, but that doesn't require rubber. And they can slowly fill that out, it's fine. Support equipment's pretty bad as well. Yeah, support equipment's really bad. All right, we need a lot of stuff, essentially. All right, so we have 25 factories going in support equipment, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's absolutely fine. 12 going in anti-tanks, that's good too. Uh, let's get more going into the motorized, and I'm just gonna kind of pre-assign these just so we don't have to mess with it for a little while. More going into the medium tanks. Even so, for Veldar Chili, it'll probably be enough. So we'll just leave it as is, and always need more planes, of course. Let me just take a look, though, how we're doing on the stockpile. We actually have some close air support we can put out there. And we might want to move our planes around out of areas that we've moved past, because I haven't done this, like this here. Uh, yeah, we could be moving all these planes over here, getting a little bit of assistance. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so let's put the tactical bombers further away, since they can reach there just fine. Actually, put them here. All right, and then the rest of these, let's have them come over here. They'll provide us some coverage there. And then, yeah, these guys will come over here. Actually, right here. All right, beautiful. Uh, so this is, this region here still needs to be covered, but what we could do is move them slightly closer. And then this region here is not covered at all, so we'll want to move all the planes that are currently here over to this area. All right, excellent. So that looks good. That should help out a lot. Uh, also, we haven't moved any of the planes that are over here yet. So let's go ahead and do that. We will do, do this a little bit differently. Don't actually need them, obviously. This is, in fact, just about done here. As you can see, we just got a lot of those dockyards and, and factories from Portugal. I'm surprised they haven't capitulated right. yet. So it should be pretty soon now. Yeah, it should be pretty soon. Let me just take a peek and see exactly where they're at right now. Uh, the Soviet Union's currently at 75% torch capitulation. Let's see, where is Portugal? Let's skip right past them. There must be somewhere up here. There they are. Let's skip right past them. 66% towards capitulation, guys. Okay, so should have them done soon, but not as soon as I thought. We need to get more of these victory points, clearly. I'll try and get that guy cut off while he locks them down. Uh, this here should be gained very, very soon. Yeah, just wrapping this up very rapidly. Yeah, it's looking good. Uh, so we're going to have to go get Porto. Somebody has to, anyway. We'll just have him go after that province for right now. Well, this guy goes after this province. Oh, we already have somebody going after that province. Okay. And let's go and attack here. Try and get this unit here destroyed. Still a lot of units moving over there. Africa's a just absolute mess. Uh, so this is all going in their hands. We'll have that unit grab that province, but... Let's get these guys coming over here from our own territory and then attacking. Trying to get these units here wrapped up. Looks like it is green, so should be able to get a victory there. All right, so let's have this guy go grab that victory point. The hat unit should be gone by the time he gets over here, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but they do have a cab unit here, so there's there's at least one unit here, which is one more unit than I was expecting there, so. All right, so he's successful in his attacks. We'll have him keep going. Let's have this guy go this way. Just trying to fill this all in, of course. Alright, this guy's gonna push forward here. Again, having having good success throughout the Soviet front. Alright, he's grabbing that province for us. Alright, beautiful. And uh, good success wrapping up the, the units from behind as well. Getting all the little pockets destroyed. Alright, so this guy has finished up his order. Let's go ahead and have him go after another province. So he's going over towards that one. Let's instead have this unit go after the airbase while also cutting these units off here. And uh, let's go and take a look at the dockyards. We just keep on taking these. I'm guessing these are from, from Portugal now. And let's put in the submarines. 
I, again, I'm, I'm very surprised I haven't capitulated yet, but a big part of that is because we haven't taken Porto yet. But still, you would think with all the other victory points taken, they would have capitulated by this point. And we're going to try and have this tank go over to Porto then. And he can go this way. Alright, so that's been wrapped up. So we'll as soon see the casualties that we caused to the Portuguese. And so let's go and attack right here. They should capitulate now, any moment. Uh, this has been taken here as well. They don't even have any units. I don't know how they haven't capitulated yet. It doesn't make any damn sense. They got one victory point province left here. There we go. So they have capitulated. Uh, I, I imagine that the Red Army is done here. They've probably been done for some time. But they do keep their training going so that you can actually send more units to them. So we could go ahead and do that. Because, yeah, the Purple Army is now done. And uh, now we might want to think about attacking over here, perhaps. I don't really want to get too involved in in, uh, in Africa. But we do want control of the Straits of Gibraltar. So sending some units across, I think, could be right, useful. So uh, with these tanks here, we're going to bring them over to northern France so that they can help with the invasion. That'll be Rommel's job there. Uh, let's take a look and see if they have any units done training. Not quite. So the Purple Army here, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the units and put them onto these invasions here. Yeah, I'm not sure which ones just yet. Probably just some regular units here. So yeah, we'll take a few of these and get the Red Army strengthened up to maybe 10 divisions for each invasion point. I think that'd be good. It's kind of a uh, change up our priorities a little bit. All right, so that gets them up to 20 divisions. Could give them another four, I suppose. And then that would be, what, 12 per invasion? Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do. And we'll keep the mountain troops. You know what, actually, let's put one mountain division in each of these two. I think that'd be good. We'll get one in each. And then uh, we just need uh, one more division for each one of the invasions, and then we're good to go. Uh, where that? It's right here. All right, excellent. So we want these guys to train while they get their invasion planned. And we'll just invade from Gibraltar. And there we go, beautiful. So they'll start heading over there. They'll train while they're over there. And we'll send the Red Army as soon as those other units get there. Could send them now, I suppose. Uh, though they might need more planning. Yeah, they're going to need more planning anyway. Uh, 42 days total, we've done 27. All right, so we did win here. Excellent. Uh, this area here, we might just let... Oh, you know what? I really want to cause the casualties here, so I think we will end up uh, sending our divisions over to this front. And then those guys will take that province. I don't really care where they go after that. All right, so we've taken all this. So let's get these guys. Actually, we'll attack over this way. I think that'd be wiser. And then let's have these guys push forward here. Send another unit down here to help us out. And we're going to want him going all the way down to that port. Titan across the river there, probably not the best way to do that. When does he leave here? I was thinking he'd be gone by then. But yeah, he was still there. Alright, so we're going to have to wait. So let's just move over here and then we'll attack over that province. Alright, and let's try and get this territory here conquered. Alright, so he's currently going to that way. We'll have him go over here instead. And this guy's going to continue taking this territory. Alright, beautiful. So, just need to get this territory... You know, this guy can actually go over to this front now. Alright, and then he can take that out for us. Alright, so he's still pushing forward as is he towards victory points. And nobody's finishing this up, so let's make sure somebody does it. Bring him on over to this front. And yeah, just go after this victory point now. And you know what? We're going to attack right there. See if we can't get that done. Alright, so that's looking good. So everybody start moving over here. So we're done with that front. So now we only have one front. So this should go a lot quicker now. Since we only have the one Soviet front to work on. And they are bringing more units down here, so that's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't happen, but that's not end up going down. 
I did get some units over here in time. All right, let's go ahead and push forward here. All right, and then he's gonna go this way. And let's just go ahead and push forward here with the tanks. Okay, yeah, just slowly getting this all filled in, guys. All right, so we're gonna move him over here, and then he's gonna let's have him go after that victory point, I suppose. And then this guy here will start filling all this in. Alright, looking good. So these little pockets are getting finished up here. Yeah, you're just getting these victory points. Remember, they're probably still losing territory over here, though. They're not really... The fascists aren't advancing that fast over there, considering... Yeah, they could be going much, much faster overall. Alright, so this guy's pushing forward over here. He's going to push forward there. And still ended up attacking that damn cab unit, but at least we're not attacking Crosser River. That's fine. And, you know, let's have one unit wrap that up just to get it done. Alright, so somebody should be taking care of all this for us. He's going to take all this territory up along here. And let's have this guy push forward here next. Alright, so yeah, a lot of the units just kind of sitting around. Not doing anything. So let's correct that. Yeah, just get them all advancing. Have taken that province there. Let's go after Gorky over here then. Yeah, just kind of filling things in. This guy is actually closer to Gorky. But let's have him help out here to getting these guys cut off. Alright, beautiful. Alright, so he did win there, so that should cut these guys off now. So let's go ahead and push forward here. Apparently we're attacking across the river there. Obviously not optimum, but whatever. It's winning, so we'll keep it going. Let's have these guys fill this in for us. And just make sure units are always moving. And Bulgaria has finally joined the conflict. It's funny they finally joined once the Soviets are are done over there. That's what they're clearly waiting on. They didn't want to do it with the Soviets involved in the war. They did take this port province, so that's unfortunate. Uh, we do have units that are currently going there, but yeah, we're going to have to get this ramped up first. Yeah, that didn't go the way I, I wanted it to. We did take the port here, though, so that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and start advancing down this way. I'm trying to avoid fighting these dudes in the, the mountains of again. And just get all this here wrapped up. I don't care if it's just one unit that does it. Alright, so he's going after that victory point. And then we'll go up to this one. I don't think we'll have to take all that territory, though. To get the Soviets defeated. Uh, let's just see where they're at right now. They're at 79%. Okay. Uh, well, we actually have to end the episode and look at the casualties. Before we do that, though, let's go ahead and go through the convoys. Just see what we, we got sunk here. A lot of convoy sunk. Alright, so that's very good. Uh, and then, remember, the invasion here. Because we did make it a little bit further this one. It was more than two weeks. It was three weeks. So, the, the episode before last was one week. This uh, The episode after that was two weeks. That was the last one. And now we made it three weeks. So, it's speeding up here, guys. Uh, so, yeah, we're getting all these units assigned over here. Uh, let's go and take a look at the casualties. See how we did. So, I'm going to try. Call anybody who's still not in. I'll just do call all. See if they accept. We're currently at 62% of the war participation. So we're definitely going to control the peace tree. We'll take a look at each specific war here and see where we're sitting at. Because the Soviet, or the, the uh, Communist War, yeah, that would be next episode we'd do the peace treaty if we defeat them. Because all you have to do is we just had to defeat uh, France, Spain, and the Soviets. Once the Soviets are defeated, we'll have the peace treaty. So that should be next episode. That's the last one we got to wait for. 79% here. Uh, we've taken 55,000 casualties, 21 to the Soviets. 15 to the French, 13 to the Italians. Spain killed 3,000 of our troops. Uh, we did 1.7 million to the Soviet Union. So we've done a lot more casualties here. We can see the Czechs have helped out because they've been wiping out the units that we cut off. Uh, 271,000 to the French. Uh, we did 109 of that. Uh, to Spain here, 227,000 casualties. We did 211,000, so almost all of them. Uh, Portugal, same deal here, 71,000. And almost all of those are from us. Just looking at some of the other countries that we've been fighting here. 
We're still not on here against the Japanese, just haven't fought them at all. Let's take a look at the British, see how many we, we killed out in the seas this episode. Uh, almost 200,000 is the total, uh, and Canada has just about capitulated. There's a lot of territory left, but they've lost all their victory points. So 97% uh, towards capitulation. And the Dutch did the majority of the casualties done. The Dutch have really helped out there, and uh, that's why they're at 2%. I don't know what Belgium's been doing. Clearly been uh, helping out in Asia since a lot of the, the casualties they've caused have been to Japan. But yeah, you can see that our side is still very much losing over here. Uh, there's just not a lot of territory that the Japanese don't have. Yeah, they've even taken American islands. The Japanese have just been hugely successful. So that'll be the back end of the campaign after we finish with the Soviet Union and invade the British. It's going to be all about the Japanese, guys. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and end today's episode here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.